The family of a Georgia woman is hoping for a miracle after she was shot in the head during a road rage incident in the upstate. Our Carlos Flores caught up with loved ones and joins us now live with more. Carlos. Good evening, Nigel and Carol. Heather Stevenis is taking everything day by day as she recovers from a road rage incident that happened earlier this month. But more than 60 miles away, friends, family and her community came together to support her from afar. I was just chilled to the bone. I didn't know what to do or what to say. Lane Goss says the moment he heard his granddaughter was the victim of a road rage incident, time froze. He says what broke his heart was knowing his great-grandson had to step up and help save his mom. I found out my little six-year-old great-grandson, when it happened, his daddy called 911 and he had to talk to the paramedics until they arrived on the scene. And he was a he was a trooper to help his dad do it. Oconee County deputies say Stavenus was shot along Interstate 85 southbound near the one to two mile markers. Investigators believe the suspect was traveling towards Georgia and driving a dark colored 2017 BMW SUV, either an X5 or an X6. And God, we pray for healing in Heather's life. Lord, Tonight, friends and family of Stavenus met in her hometown of Tacoa, Georgia, to pray for. Looks like it's gonna be a long drawn out recovery but she's they from what I understand the condition she was in when it happened till now is a great difference and she is coming along slowly. And after each prayer, song and hymn, they hope their voices carry all the way to Greenville as Stevenus fights to make it home to her family. We just need the community to support through it all and to get us through it and uh, whatever outcome, I know God is still in control. Now, deputies say this is still an ongoing investigation. If there's any, if you have any information that can help in this case, you're asked to contact the Oconee County Sheriff's Office. But for now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.